Good evening and welcome to this service of evening prayer for Saturday the 5th of March. My name is Catherine Boyer, I'm the Dean of Newcastle and this service is being recorded on Awabakal land. This land was never ceded by the Awabakal peoples and I pay my respects to Elders past and present and pray that I with the Cathedral community may join with them in a spirit of reconciliation in caring for all that God has entrusted to us in the good gifts of creation. The service for Saturday evening prayer is on page 422. Our psalm is Psalm 17, our reading from Luke's Gospel, chapter 11. As I've said over the previous two evenings, over these three days, on Thursday, last night Friday, and tonight on Saturday, we're going to pray the Litany for Peace, praying for peace in Ukraine, peace in all places where there is brokenness, where hearts are rent apart and troubled. Page 422. In the name of God, Creator, Redeemer and Sanctifier. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our opening canticle, A Song of the Shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd, therefore can I lack nothing. He shall make me lie down in green pastures and lead me beside still waters. He shall refresh my soul and guide me in right pathways for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup shall be full. Surely your goodness and loving kindness shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord for ever. The day is now past and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of lights, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Psalm 17 on page 235, Psalm 17. Hear my just cause, O Lord, give heed to my cry. Listen to my prayer that comes from no lying lips. Let judgment for me come forth from your presence and let your eyes discern the right. Though you search my heart and visit me in the night time, Though you try me by fire, you will find no wickedness in me. My mouth does not transgress like the mouth of others, for I have kept the word of your lips. My steps have failed firm in the way of your commands, and my feet have not stumbled from your paths. I call upon you, O God, for you will surely answer. Incline your ear to me and hear my words. Show me the wonders of your steadfast love, O Saviour of those who come to you for refuge, who by your right hand deliver them from those that rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of your eye, hide me under the shadow of your wings, from the onslaught of the wicked, from my enemies that encircle me to take my life. They have closed their hearts to pity, and their mouths speak proud things, they advance upon me, they surround me on every side, watching how they may bring me to the ground. Like a lion that is greedy for its prey, like a lion's whelp lurking in hidden places. Arise, O Lord, stand in their way and cast them down. Deliver me from the wicked by your sword. Slay them by your hand, O Lord, slay them so that they perish from the earth. Destroy them from among the living. But as for your cherished ones, let their bellies be filled, and let their children be satisfied. Let them pass on their wealth to their offspring. And I also shall see your face, because my cause is just. 
When I awake and see you as you are, I shall be satisfied. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made, and you forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain from you the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Reading from Luke's Gospel, chapter 11, beginning at verse 5. And Jesus said to them, Suppose one of you has a friend, and you go to him at midnight and say to him, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived, and I have nothing to set before him. And he answers from within, Do not bother me, the door has already been locked, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he will not get up and give him anything because he is his friend, at least because of his persistence, he will get up and give him whatever he needs. So I say to you, ask and it will be given you. Search and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened for you. For everyone who asks receives, and everyone who searches finds. And for everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Is there anyone among you who, if your child asks for a fish, will give a snake instead of a fish, or if the child asks for an egg, will give a scorpion. If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? May your word live in us, and bear much fruit to your glory. Our canticle, the Easter Anthems. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For since by one man came death, by another has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ will all be made alive. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made, and you forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, Worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain of you the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Litany for Peace is found on page 194 of the prayer book. We bring before God in the places of our hearts which transcend words, our prayers for peace at this time. Our response to let us pray to the Lord is, Lord, have mercy. In peace, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. For peace from on high and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord, Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the Holy Church of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace among our bishops, clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace among the nations, for those who lead and those in authority, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of every city and community, 
the places where we live and dwell, and for those who live in them in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all evil, strife and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Come to visit us, Lord, this night, so that by your strength we may rise at daybreak to rejoice in the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Amen.